In this video, you are going to learn congruency of triangles. Before, let us know the meaning of congruency. Congruency means two things are equal in all aspects. In algebra, if two values are equal, then we say the two values are congruent. In geometry, since we are dealing with the shape, if the two shapes are of same shape and size, then those two shapes are congruent. Now, let us see the congruency of triangles. Consider these two triangles. If we see these two triangles, they appear that both are of different size and shape. If I rotate this triangle and if I flip this triangle and shift this triangle such that it superimposes with each other. Now you may observe that the two triangles are superimposing that is one is lying on the other side then we say that these two triangles are congruent. If the two triangles are congruent all the six elements of the triangles are equals. The six elements of the triangle are three sides and three angles. Now let us see the three sides of this let us see the three sides of this triangle. You may observe that the corresponding sides are equal and also the corresponding angles are also equal. Here angle A is 45 degree. Here the corresponding angle is equal. Angle E, the measure of the angle E is 60.94. Here also 60.94. The measure of angle C is 74.96. Here also the measure of angle is it is 74.06. You may observe that the six elements of these two triangles are equal. If you observe that the three sides are equal, then the three angles are also equal. This we can say by seeing the three elements of this we can decide by knowing the three elements of one triangle with the three elements of the other triangle let us see what are those see here are two triangle if you observe the three sides of this triangle is equal to the three corresponding sides of this triangle you may observe see I am changing the side then also the three sides of this triangle is equal to the three corresponding sides of this two triangle. If you shift this triangle you are observing that the two triangles are congruent. Now we are not seeing the angles we are just seeing the sides. If we observe the sides of one triangle and if we observe the corresponding three sides of the other triangle then those two are if those three are equal then the corresponding triangles are then the given two triangles are congruent. Let us check whether the remaining three elements are equal that is the three angles of these two triangles are equal. Yes the corresponding angle A the angle A is equal to the corresponding angle B angle E is equal to the corresponding angle F, angle C is equal to the corresponding angle D. If I change the side also, if the if all the three sides of this triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of this triangle, then the angles are also obeying, then the angles, then angles are also equal that you are observing. Yes. And the two triangles are congruent. This postulate is known as SSS postulate. Instead of observing all the six elements of one triangle with one triangle with the other triangle, if we see the three sides of one triangle with the corresponding three sides of the other triangle, if both are equal, then those two triangles are congruent. Is this applicable for 
the triangle whose three angles are equal with the corresponding three angles of other triangle let us see if you see these two triangle you will observe that the corresponding angles are equal that means the angle of this triangle is equal to the corresponding three angles of this triangle but you may observe that those two triangles are of same shape but not of same size you may observe that those two triangles are of same shape but not of same size hence those two triangles are not congruent that means a a a criteria does not holds good for the congruency of triangles let us check with the other three elements now let us consider two triangle with two angles and the included side is equal to the two angles and the is equal to the corresponding two angles and included side of other triangle then those two triangle are congruent you may observe this one if i change the side also the two angles and the included side is equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side and both are congruent this postulate is known as asa postulate next postulate of congruency of triangle let us consider one more example in this example if you observe the two triangles the two sides and included angle of one triangle is equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of another triangle then those two triangles are congruent you may observe this one yes now i am going to change the side if i change the side then also the two sides and the included angle of one triangle is equal to the two sides and included angle of another triangle then those two triangles are congruent that you are observing now i change the angle after changing the angle also you are observing the two side and the included angle is equal to the two sides and the included angle now those two triangle are congruent this postulate of congruency of triangle is known as s a s postulate now i leave a question that is s s a postulate for congruency exist if not why think one more example i am considering if you observe these two triangle here one of the angle is 90 degree then we call these two triangles as then we call these two triangle triangles as right triangle in these two triangle one angle is right angle one side is equal and hypotenuse are equal then these two triangles are congruent this postulate is called as right angle hypotenuse side postulate in short rhs postulate now observe i am going to change the hypotenuse even though if i change the hypotenuse the hypotenuse are equal yes and the congruency of and the two triangles are congruent you may check other elements here here we don't know angle e it is 47.29 if you observe the corresponding angle g it is equal here it is c 42.71 here d also 42.71 now we don't know the length of the side ae it is 6 here it is 6 that means if we check the three elements that is right angle hypotenuse and side the other three elements are also equal because the two triangles are congruent in this video we learnt sss postulate then asa postulate sas postulate and rhs postulate on congruency of triangle hope you enjoyed the video thank you